could be still in college, but I heard you had a birthday recently. What birthday was it, and what did you do to celebrate? <laughs> uh, I Kings, you freaking them all the time. What do they call them nowadays? What do they call them nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Gentlemen's Club, yes, yes, yes. That's nice, uh, Gentlemen's Club. Yeah. A guy on the left is our sex guy. I gotta make notes because I have a bad memory. Greg Kyle! I've been having trouble with this two first names thing, you know? Fernbank Science Museum. You had a date there, didn't you? I did. I heard it from the Fernbank Science Museum. Why would they, why would your date have been so memorable that they would have let me know? And why was there not a second date? Uh, Fernbank Science Museum is a wonderful museum in Atlanta. If you guys like science. Oh, Atlanta people in the house. Yeah. You probably have a little bit of everywhere, it's a big crowd. The rally of the South. Um, <laughs> they, they do an adult science night where you can drink and have adult conversations. And they did uh, one of those egg drop things where you build a contraption to protect your egg from smashing on the ground. And I don't have a lot of strength, so I was like, I'll leave it to humor for this first day. And I didn't build a contraption, I just put my egg into a little Ziploc bag, and then you write a little name on it, and then the guy reads the name off and then drops your contraption. So I wrote Stop Animal Cruelty Online, and then he read that out to the public and dropped my egg to its death. And I thought it was funny. That's, that's good, that's good comedy. Uh, she did not, and uh, <laughs> no one else did. A lot of people were pretty upset. So I don't go back to the firm bank time anymore. <laughs> you know, second date? No. Hey. Hey. Despite, despite how witty it was. Well, the good news for you at home, the millions watching, is Greg Kyle is still, avail still available? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes to me. Speaking of available, potentially not, did I'll your lateness it. have anything to do with the person who might have been on the show prior at this very venue? Uh, she should be here soon. I was just taking a shower. Oh. <laughs> you, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. You were half hour late because of a no, shower? No, I, I, the second I said that, I was like, I need to okay. redo this whole story. I was playing frisbee golf. Hey, what? <laughs> you, know, you, you guys don't play frisbee golf? Come on. Well, I was playing frisbee golf. <laughs> and it's my new favorite hobby. I was playing frisbee golf, and then I was like, all right, I have enough time. I have OCD also, so I'm all about time. Yeah. So I got back and I was like, I have enough time to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, finish this documentary, and maybe, oh. and maybe, this is where the story takes off, maybe shower. Turns out I had enough time to make the sandwich, what was the first thing? The first thing, and not shower. I'm late because, because of the shower, the documentary, yes. So that is why I am late tonight. You've become the heel of the show. <laughs> Ooh. I like it. Ooh. You like it? You like him being late? That's our contrarian hey, match. Hey. Got fans. 
right. You know Thank what? Thank you for having me on the show. You know what? I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 I got more questions for these people, but you know, the audience is dying. Like, when are they going to play a game? So might as well play a game. And guess what? You probably know what the first game is. You didn't ask me any questions. I literally asked you why you were late. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Hi, yo. We got. We're on a time limit. We're on a time limit. They have places to go. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I just gotta match them both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The first game is. This is the fun thing everyone does at home. Some people call this a drum roll. Ready? Here we go. The rice is right. Woo! A bag of rice has been bought. Rest in peace, Bob Barker. Bob Barker. <laughs> you know what? Ever since Bob Barker was taken down, there are people out for me as the host of this crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it's become like an East Coast, West Coast thing, and we won't have it. Here you have rice. Crowd, you can look at this rice. You can help them out. This is going to be a pre-tax price that was bought this week. I will never tell what store. They're going to guess the price of the bag of rice. The one who gets closest will win the prize of the rice. The rice by popular demand. They all wanted the rice. We used to give out a car, but they were like, no, rice. <laughs> and you also do drugs before. No, that's, how I, that's how I figure out the price. That's from the, that's from that's the smack. Yeah, yeah. Uh... But if you go over, they're automatically out. out. That's a common mistake. You've seen the game show before. They're always going out. How many game shows have you been to now? 25? Yeah. Yes. Why weren't you at the other four? Amazing. Chris Rivoli recently told me that when you hit 30 on a show, that means you're for real. Oh, yeah. And this is for our 30th sure. episode. Yes. Woo! Woo! Bag of rice. Did you guys have a uh, Brittany? Did you guys do a thing, or are they just gonna go with it? Oh, uh, in the order they're in. Okay, perfect. Erica, what is the price of that bag of rice? Five seventy nine. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe you should ask the audience. This <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. Yes. Somebody stop the whole thing. Great. Right. Audience, you want to give them some numbers? Um, three dollars. Four seventy-five. As a poor man, I eat a lot of bread. I'm gonna say that's two fifty-five. Ooh, yeah, nice. that's good. Yes. So you said if we go over, we're just falling? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, a, a dollar. <laughs> good choice. Good choice. Yes. Well, honestly, a dollar would have been over on some of these games. I am a thrifty shopper. The price of the bag of rice was a dollar eighty-nine. Woo! Chris oh, Rivoli, you win that. Oh, the nice. veteran. Nice. The veteran and rice champion, Chris Rivoli. Uh, did you rice win rice the first time? You were? I no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I figured out the smash technique, and I was like, "This is a dollar eighty nine, but I'm going to say a dollar." All right, Chris with the win. <laughs> Can I have that rice? No, it's mine. <laughs> All right, we're ready for our next game. Ooh, it's a new game alert. New game alert. Do we have a sound for a new game alert, Nick? <laughs> yes, that's the sound for a new game alert. Ready? One, two, three. It is called. Spin and solve. This is a puzzle. It looks like an easy puzzle to do. Maybe a kid could do it, right? Right. right. All right. Yeah. Matt, you want to try it out just so we know if a kid could do it? Okay. No. All right. But you will be spinning on this back Ooh. five times around. We will start the timer once you start spinning, and then you do the puzzle. If you injure yourself, Comedy Works is not liable. Game Show is not liable. Anyone here want to be liable? No. It's on you. Play noise for that. If you want someone to assist you so you don't hurt yourself, you can do that. All right. The other two people, be kind. Let them go to the you know to the, the spot. All right. Anyone want in the audience just want to try it out just to see what you could do just for us to test run? It'd be kind of fun. I'll You're just going to spin around five times. Then you put in the puzzle. We'll see what the time is. Is someone a volunteer? Okay. Oh, in that case, oh, the first All right. Let me get to the timer. So just for the sake of this, Erica, you're going to be the person helping him make sure that he doesn't fall off and then he goes sit there for the puzzle, okay? okay? This is the first time ever we've done spin and solve. Woo! Woo! Ready? Oh Whenever you want to go. What do I, what do, I do? Five times around, when you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> One. 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 Two. 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 Yeah, you, yeah. Three. 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 Three.
Is he is is he going around the strat? You good? Now sit him down and do the puzzle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you don't have to do the inside pieces. So you should probably get rid of those. Oh wow, oh, he's good. You know what? You guys mock him, but I think he does it better with the. Uh, is that David Blaine? <laughs> Show us. All right. Technically, all right. We're gonna get rid of the pieces that don't. Uh, we'll get. Let's get rid of the pieces that don't. Uh, like, you know, real square. <laughs> real square. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you say is gonna go first in this one, Brittany? Chris. Chris Rimley. All right. It's my turn to do that. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Greg and Eric need to move down a little bit, so he doesn't have to go through you guys to sit down. Does someone want, who wants to be his uh, person that he doesn't die? Is Jane Becky over here? I'll be the non dead non -dead. Yes, make sure he doesn't die. That's your one thing. You're here to watch over me? If yeah. Chris dies, who does this rice go to, Chris? Me! Jane. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. All right, hold up. Nice. I need to, I need a timer. All right, hold up. I also do it five times. I used to do this in college. One. One. Thank you. That explains Two. a lot. Two. How's my form? Three. How's my four? Four. <laughs> fix it. Five. Five. Okay. All right. I, th I thought the bed had to be yes, on the floor. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I thought the bed had to stay on the floor. I'm enjoying this. Really? Yes. Hold on, hold on. This is soothing. They're not in the order of size, though. Mm -hmm. It's a working problem. I'm pretty sure you broke the name. Alright, oh, that was two seconds left. That was two seconds left. No, okay. Okay. So one second, 39 seconds. Hey, Vecchio! Vecchio, weren't you like a record holder or something? Um, no, you were the one no. that did get a record. Right? I was the one who won the least records. <laughs> yeah, but you did You did get some good prizes, I remember. I got yeah. some candles. That's true. <laughs> that's, 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 that's better, that's better than 3,000 pieces of rice. <laughs> Which I now have. Boo. 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 Alright, who's the next? Brady Sanchez. Greg. Greg, you're next. You two guys slide on down. Let me reset this stopwatch. The time to beat is 39 seconds. Who here thinks Greg is going to beat that time of 39 seconds? I did. Woo. Who here thinks there's no chance he'll beat that? That Chris was a master at that. No Not chance. Until I throw it down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, does the bat have to stay on the ground, or you have to pick up the bat? Oh, guess what? If you're a veteran of the game show, what is something that I always forget to do? Nick, you know. Brittany, you know. Each score. Right, each score. I always forget to stay with the prizes. Oh. oh, yeah. What's the prize? Another bag of rice. <laughs> <laughs> the prize Somebody, is... Somebody's hungry. A tripod. <laughs> Perfect for your comedians or one of you comedians. Ooh, that's a Bluetooth thing that goes with it. Wow. And an extender so it can be like a selfie stick. Oh, it's perfect for a pretty boy like you, Chris Rivley. Too bad you only got 39 seconds. Thank you. That's, right, which is so going to get seconds. Eventually I'll get a little bit of a That's okay. Chris and I are actually good friends. We are good friends. All right, until Greg Conley. Oh. All right, you ready, Greg? I'm ready. Greg Kyle? Greg Kyle, where do you live? Two first names. What? Harborough or a... <coughs> Greg Kyle of Harborough. Ready? Like Ricky Barber. Like Ricky Barber. Yeah. Why? Two, three, four, four. Ah, you're good, you're good, you're good. You guys all died. You guys all died. You put the He's at 20 seconds. Can you get it in 19 seconds? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a decent strategy, though. I like it. 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 Nice. It feels good if you do it to follow up. It's like a. What's it called? The nice. Time! Oh! Woo! Oh, nine, three, three seconds. Okay, so I get like the head now, or what happens? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Next person is Eric. We'll move on now. Who wants to make sure Eric doesn't fall off the stage? Oh, God. Where was my spot? I'll do it again. I know. No one's <laughs> I got you. <laughs> on a good wall. Oh, so count for me. You were okay. so quick with that. 
You're so good at things. I don't know what to do. If you guys mastered this, I was gonna add a hexagon next time. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Alright, whenever you ready, let's start. The SAT. You got it. Does it's it matter which way. direction I go in? No, no it doesn't. Clockwise okay. <laughs> on One, it! One, two, two three, three, four, four and five. five. Uh oh. Oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. World record of spin and solve of 28 seconds. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Good job. Hey, hey, moms. <laughs> and another <laughs> world record. It's the first time anyone's ever had a world record. And then we come back from commercial. They'll be giving you four minutes of comedy. Because that will be Erica Castro giving you four minutes of comedy. We come back from commercial. Like this break. All right, come to the stage to do her set. Let's give it up for Erica. kids but they're my wife's kids that's how that works but anyways <laughs> I've decided that I think the best thing that I could ever say to anybody and insult them is to say like fuck your dog <laughs> I think that's just, just simple like I could just be like excuse me fuck your dog and then just be like okay on with my day It'd just be fine you look upset no, um, anybody married? You're married? Yeah. To that guy? Yeah. Okay. To <laughs> your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay. It's just not my type. You hey. look very, like, <laughs> elevated with fashion, and I love it. Like I'm, I'm into the spots and the stripes. I love it. Yeah. Opposite. Anyways, um, I've been married a couple times. Believe it or not. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at now. It'll get bigger as we go. Upgrade as it should, guys. Um, no, my first husband. That was great. Um, divorced him. He was terrible. Yeah. Um, my second husband, um, that was great too, but you know, he died. That's okay. ISIS just had a <laughs> You're a great crowd. I love you. Um, my current husband now, he's unfortunately still alive after six years. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Sasha's been waiting his turn <laughs> very, very nicely. Um, no, my husband now, he's great. Um, he loves Pokemon. Woo! Yeah. You know, it's like a 92 point something billion industry. Billions. Pokemon. Billions. You look so confused. I don't know what they are. You <laughs> gotta match them all. That's all I know. Is that my light? Okay. One minute. One minute. <laughs> Anyways, my husband just loves Pokemon. My set's not going as great as I thought it would go. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. It's still good. Fuck the dog. Fuck the dog. 
No, I feel bad. Some girl talked about um, how a cluster of cells is not alive, but if I kill a dog, that's bad. I was like, I think it's the same. <laughs> that's just my opinion. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, now give it up for Eric, now give it up. And we're back. Woo! Woo! Give it up again for Eric Castro, love, love, husband, and Paul. For this next contest, it's a popular contest on the streets, on the internet, and in game shows, and at Comedy Works. It is the Bad Actors Studio, and now I'm going to introduce to you your bad actors. They're going to come out with the prizes. And they are Brittany Sanchez and Matt Case coming out. Oh, Brittany Sanchez. Woo! Thank you. What are the prizes? The prizes that we will be winning for today for the Bad Actor Studio uh, comedy game show game will be uh, this is a uh, it's pill box. <laughs> it's, for, it's for sorting your pills if you sort yours. It's a large pill box. If you sort, if you got a sort horse pill pills, box, you can, you can use these to sort your pills. Oh, and horse pills. Pill don't don't touch it till you win it. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, it's double prize, double prize, double prize. Uh, uh, double prize. This is spray disinfectant. <laughs> And what it does is it, uh, it kills germs. <laughs> Do not show your answers until we say answers up. And don't show the other contestants. No cheating. That's right. That is going to be a problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, greetings, uh, people of Raleigh. We are the Bad Actors Studio. Woo! The, uh, the first scene. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? What in the hell was that? Why did you splash yourself with the bucket? Was that some sort of splash dance? <laughs> in scene. Woo! You may now make your guesses. <laughs> I have a question. Are we guessing uh, that we're guessing movies. who they, or the movie that that movie. was? The movie, yeah. Okay, okay. You forgot to Got guess it? what the game is. We took okay. some, yeah, yeah. we might there have we taken, go. My man. Hell taken yeah. some liberties with the script. Okay, well now I know how to play. It's called Guess That Movie. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we? Is there a timer for this? No timer. Okay. Take your time. But hurry up. Has everybody made their guesses? Yup. Yes. Audience, what, uh, what is? What do you think it is? Last name. Bane. Grease. Bane. Iron Man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, turn on over. Turn on over. All right. Let me see the answers. We have Batman Two. Lion King 2. <laughs> flash dance? And the answer is flash dance! Yeah. Alright, get ready for the second one. Oh, <laughs> one, two, three. We're men, we're men in tights. We run around the forest looking for fighting. We're men, we're good at fights. We rob the rich, give to the poor. Uh, God damn, my, my tights are too tight. Fuck these tights. Insane. Has <laughs> everybody got their answers? Yup. Uh, all right. Audience, what was it? Robin Hood and tights. A little 1993 adventure film directed by Mel Brooks starring Dave Chappelle in the leading role. What? Answers. You <laughs> Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Who's Robin Forrest Hood Gump? in Dread and Robin Hood Hook. What in these Okay. Are <laughs> so I guess half points? Oh my God. Oh my God. No. 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 Gump. I did do it in Forrest Gump. Boys. If you at least put Forrest Gump in tights, you would have got something. <laughs> so close! 
Stop moving the both of you. This is devil snare. You have to relax. If you don't, it'll only kill you faster. Kill us faster? Oh, now I can relax. In <laughs> scene. We're going to have to bring that back. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. right. so, right. so, right. Okay, audience? Harry Potter. Which one? The second one. One of them. Oh, all of them. All right, what did y'all say? The first time. All right, we got a Potter fan here. All right, we have Like Mike 2. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and Scream 2. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Greg is tied it up. It's 1.5 for Greg, 1.5 for Erica. Chris is playing. I'm trying. Yeah, Chris ain't trying at all. I thought it was like Mike too. <laughs> and now for the so next scene. scene. And now for the next scene. All right then. All right then. All right then. Who's hiding them? Okay, I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? Oh, she the Muffin Man. <laughs> Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who lives in Drury Lane? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. Mm. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man? Insane. Insane. So easy. So easy. This one, so easy. <laughs> Is it Muffin Man? No, <laughs> no, it's the Muppet That's what they want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the audience. Uh, what, uh, what do you think he is, the audience? Shrek. 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 All right, turn him over. Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shrek. 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 She wrote Shirk and then Shrek 2. Is it Shrek 2? It's Shrek 2. Shrek. 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 So, no points. Half point. Half point. Half, half, point. half a point for Fox News. That's funny. Did he get Shrek? Because they talk like idiots on there. I like that. Did Greg get Shrek? What? No, he got pornography. Pornography. Half. Matt, you will give out half a point. I'll you send you some points. I wouldn't give out. I'm with Greg. Muffins. I'll try to see. All right. Erica 2.0, Greg 1.5, Chris uh, 0 0.01. He's on the board. <laughs> okay. We got three more to go. Three more. How many? <laughs> <laughs> right. Next scene. Next scene. I'm here today because I'm addicted to marijuana. You're in here because marijuana? Man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Marijuana is not a drug. I used to suck dick for coke. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I see him do it. Now that's an addiction, man. You ever suck some dick for marijuana? I can't say I have. I didn't think so. Insane. Insane. <laughs> Can we say dick in this comedy club? Yep. <laughs> We prefer you to say PP. Do we have our <laughs> answers? Yep. No, she doesn't have her answer. It's a question mark. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Audience. 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 Half baked. Half baked. All right, sir. <laughs> this could literally be 27 movies. Half baked and question mark. And it's half baked. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to come back. Yes, it is one of the movies, so you're up to 0 0.02. Yes! While Greg and Erica each have 2.5. You got a lot of work to do. There's one more to go, and then the tiebreaker. Ooh, we got a hell of a tiebreaker. So right now, it's two point. Chris, you're playing the spoiler role right now. Greg and Erica, it's down to this last one. Let's see if you both get it right, both get it wrong, then it'll be a tiebreaker. Scene begins. Uh, cinematography is exceptional. Everything is even. Uh, it's a nice picturesque landscape. We see a lake moving out into the city. Uh, there's uh, it's a giant castle. Uh, narrator says, And so, the doctors were called. But that, what does a doctor avail in a contest with the grim, invincible enemy? 
Such doctors that came could only confirm our despair by their account of this poor child's case. His spine was broken. Papa, am I going to die? <laughs> no, no, my darling. You're not going to die. You're going to get better. But I can't feel anything except my hands. Ah. Does that mean <laughs> I'm already dead in all the other parts of my body? Insane. <laughs> The year was 1975, and this period drama was directed by an upcoming young director. Maybe you've heard of him? Do you guys know who it is? Do they all have answers now? We got Steven Spielberg. Oh, you asking about the director? I'm just asking about the director. I'm not giving away the answer yet. Nobody? A young up and coming director? Christopher Nolan? Got a lot of cinema files in here, I see. All right. <laughs> Answers, you may give them. We got Coach Carter. We have Simon Birch. Also, Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> the answer was 1975's Barry Lyndon, directed by Stanley Kubrick. 75? <laughs> what was that name? Barry Lyndon. Yeah, it's real. Is that real movie? It is it is real. You guys seem like you would know. What's, What's next? The Wizard of Oz? Barry Lyndon? It is wow. a real movie, yes. Yeah. Sometimes we like throwing a curveball. Oh, no, curveball right thrown, tiebreaker. Oh, tie right here we go. That's in the left field. That's not a curveball. Sweep the legs. Sweep the legs. Sweep the legs. Oh, no, I, I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. You may now put your answer. <laughs> It's one of two that remember. Now you're acting. Who's up next? Uh, it's gonna be Greg. 
Greg! Alright, Greg! Alright, and Greg, who would you like to be your rebounder? Paige. Because <laughs> <laughs> you literally brought a friend and you were like, Gage. <laughs> I saw his hustle. If I step over it, what happens? Then that one won't count. Just don't do it. Yeah, just don't, yeah that would okay. up the cause. Okay. You know what? You guys have a second job. <laughs> you say, eh, if he steps over it. <laughs> like a little bit. So. Anything. It's not that hard. Not, it's a very it's demonstrative a line. Everyone sees I'll it. I'll watch the dot. What is that tape you had? Remember? I'll 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 Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. Nick, it's on you. Three, two, one, go. One, two. Oh my God. Three, two. 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 <laughs> Two four. seconds. One four. second. Four. Last shot. Four. Oh, five. 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 That's four. Five. Four. Five. 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 So what, that last one Two. I said to get count was it five? It was five. 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 It don't matter. Five. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was six. Constellation. All right. All right. You're up there. Pick your okay. Cool. Jane Vecchio. Oh. The is right there. Relationships <laughs> have broken up over smaller things than this. Do you see that speck on the ground, Chris Rivoli? There's a few. It's a slightly larger one. Mm. <laughs> By the way, let's give it up for our scorekeepers. They're doing a great job. <laughs> Nick, it's on you. Can't step over. Ready? Can I get a three, two, one, go? Ready to go? Ready? Three, two, one, go. One. Two. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Three. Three. Okay. Four. Okay. Oh. Four. 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 Who won the world? Girl. Five. 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 Thank you once again for our store keepers. Woo! Our backup timer. I'm not original timer. Time. Original timer didn't do well. We're about to go to commercial break. When we come back, we have more comedy, and the comedy's gonna be coming from Greg Kyle. Woo! Y'all ready for y'all next comedy, guys? Woo! All right, come to the stage. Let's give it up for Greg Kyle. How's it going, everybody? Are you right? Woo! That's so loud. So glad that so many people showed up. Don't look around. Let's do a little uh, ice breaking activity. I want to go around the group one by one. I want you to tell me your favorite color or a time you were abused as a child. You ready? We're not going to do that. I'm not going to pay for that. If you have epilepsy, uh, you should get a tattoo that says Carpe Diem. Because of seizures, that's why. <laughs> We're bombing already. God damn, right out of the gate, bro. Didn't like the seizure joke, you didn't like the child abuse joke. If you're a man, and you have another friend who is also a man, and that friend is homophobic, you should take that friend to Hooters and try and hold our hand. It's not gay, it's a hooter show. It's not gay, man, just give me a little kiss. Right on the cheek. <laughs> ass and titties, ass, ass and titties, create on my balls, it's fine. Oh, it can't be gay if it's a hooter, those are the rules. Try it, they love it. <sighs> <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> Been on Tinder recently, you guys know Tinder. Do you guys know phones? Like phone, you guys know phones. Like the, you do the numbers. They've made them tinier, and you put them in your pocket now. How old are you guys? Is it legal for you to ask me that? You can ask me. Well, you have to tell me if I ask. You can't lie. Okay. How old are you? Sixty-three. Sixty-three? Yeah. Holy shit. 
Why was that 35? You want to go to Hooters? <laughs> it's not. It's not. Um, yeah, Tinder, they made it for banging. You get it and you bang. Uh, I matched with a girl the other day and she said, hey, your face is fine. Uh, but how's that body? And <clears throat> she asked me to send her a picture of me without a shirt on and I did it. Um, I didn't like it. And then I sat there very uncomfortably waiting for her response. And her response is going to haunt me forever. She said, uh, it'll work, but it's not great. Wow. Which is rude. I got the message with it'll work. You don't have to tell me it's not great. I get it. As a side note, very hard to come when you're sucking in your stomach and flexing all your muscles. Really difficult. Not easy to do. I don't want to brag, but I've never had a cavity. I've also never been to the dentist. <laughs> but I do have 13 super strong teeth. 13? Tiny little holes in them for liquid. I'm real good, they work so good. I'm loving this crowd energy. I really, really feel like this is an environment for comedy. What else are we else gonna do? We did the epilepsy bit. <laughs> Said the child would be a spit. <laughs> Is that all I wrote down? Shit. Uh, you know you might be a nicotine addict when you walk into a dive bar with your brother and you go, oh look, they have hookah. And he goes, that is a broken lamp with an electrical cord wrapped around it. <laughs> right again. <laughs> Pretty bad. I was, uh, I was in New York the other week to see my brother. Um, and it's fine, it's a city. Do you guys think Paris is kind of like New York? In the sense that anyone who spends any time in Paris won't shut the fuck up about it? <laughs> you live on a rat island, right? Not impressed. We can all buy pizza. What, did you already give me the light? You did, didn't you? Is that the second one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I smoke cigarettes at trees just to sound who's boss. <laughs> Save the planet, y'all! Alright, I'll do one more. Do you guys think sometimes turtles eat straws like humans smoke cigarettes? <laughs> like they know that they're bad for them, but they do it anyways because they love the rush. <laughs> and there's some really old turtle at the bottom of the seafloor who puts like a trembling little turtle fin up to a turtle beak. And he just takes a long nibble off that straw. And they're like, Tom, those straws are killing you. Like, I don't care, it's the only thing that makes me feel alive. <laughs> Tom, that's a global warming, y'all. Okay, that's it. Thanks, y'all. ready for another game. It is the last game before the Staircase Showdown, which is the grand finale. And so far, we let's see what we've won. We've won, you've won rice. Eric, what have you won? Uh, Starbucks cup and a tripod. Starbucks cup and a tripod. Wow. Wow. That's more than one. Yeah. And you won the double dose of the Bad Actor Studio of sanitizer and uh, don't spray your medicine with the sanitizer. That's a good idea. Oh. All right. So this is a big game to decide who's going to have the most because the one who gets the most goes to go last in the staircase showdown. I'm going to keep on doing that. I want to talk. I want to get back to your questions. Yeah. You know, Chris was a little bit upset that I didn't get that you guys didn't get to know him as well. So you recently took a trip to uh, Seattle of the Washington. Yes, trip. I did. Tell me about I it. I was there. It was really good. We went to the Space Needle. Mm -hmm. Ever heard of it? Nope. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Yes. <laughs> so I went there. And funny thing, so we were there. I didn't realize, like, I think America's way more traumatized than we imagined. <laughs> because we were in Seattle, right, on the, on the Space Needle. And we were just, it was a whole view of Seattle. Like, beautiful day, sun setting. Can you picture it? And we're standing there. <laughs> and I'm like, wow vacation, right? And then a plane started coming towards us, and I was like, oh, no. Immediately, I was like, this is going to be a Seattle 9-11, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. And immediately, my girlfriend was like, don't say it! Because there was people around, and I didn't want to startle them the way that I'm kind of startling you right, right. now. I didn't want to do that. So I was just like, oh, a plane! And everyone was like, what? And then we just left. <laughs> and that was what I did in Seattle. Final destination. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> he was like, eh. But what happened with the plane? It went straight into the space wheel. It went straight over. Greg, you are from Atlanta. You came here for grad school. You're now a bartender and a researcher, a former homeschool teacher in Nashville, and a frequent backpack traveler. Is that all true? How do you know all of that? I don't know. Tell me about it. Are you bragging for having a backpack? No. I am, actually. It's big. Yeah, what's the last place you backpack traveled? School. Columbia. <laughs> Columbia. The country. No. Uh, hey, hey, hey. The city. Was it fun? Was it there any like the killings? There was a knife fight? Story. Oh, he was no, 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 no
What is the largest continent? Antarctica? Antarctica? Yeah. Right. Ed a quack. <gasps> oh, 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 you gotta stand up. You guys wanna guess? One, two, three. No, all right. And the answer was? Asia. Asia, Asia is correct. What did oh. say Asia? You didn't go <laughs> Hold on, name three countries. I had a 2.1 G. So the largest <laughs> continent. All right. And hey, you got a message with it? Next one. <laughs> what is the name of the longest mountain range? Hint, it is under the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, yes. the Atlantic Ocean. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to them, they say not. If there wasn't an audience, I'd be pretty good. All right, no guesses? All right, audience? No. Someone said they knew it. Someone sounded really confident. Say what? Are you, is that something from like Ariel or something? Is that from like one of those? Skinny no, Ariel the Trench is the deepest the point deepest here in the world. What is under there? Wow. If that is the Mid Atlantic Ridge, that'd be correct. Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> on. What is the only continent without an active volcano? Ooh. Oh, God. Mm. Ooh. Don't hesitate. <laughs> Antarctica. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you're just making answers up. No. <laughs> but it's the internet. Let's go, Chris. You got a guess? One out of six? Geography. No. All right. All right. The answer was Australia. Australia is correct. All right. Let's get to an easy one. Which one plus one? How many states are there in the United States? <laughs> 50 is correct! Oh. Oh. There's no way, Erica! I thought it was 51 Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Oh! Nine! She's up wow. to 11! Oh my gosh. More geography. So Alright. The world's largest fish market is located in what capital city? Your mom's house! <laughs> <laughs> That's a winner. <laughs> so oh my God. Yeah, I had to buy the water. What's up with this thing? Oh, yeah. oh, Where are we? UNC? Alright, you guys want to give a guess? Um, no, I don't want to. This is more of an audience game. <laughs> audience, where is the largest, what was it, fish market? Yeah. Capital City. Okay. You know your yes. Yes, very good. You know what? If you guys don't get over a certain number, he's, he's going to get it. <laughs> Alright, right, we got uh, four more. Your mom's name's Tokyo. Right. Four more, Chris. I really want you to win this. <laughs> <laughs> Which Italian city is known for its canals? Come on! Come on, Chris! Chris, you thought about this! Why are you holding the rice when he's positioning himself? Why can't I be Italian? Because uh, you're not. What's the answer? Venice. Venice is correct! Go ahead and uh, just because I'm Italian, everyone's like, oh, quote the Sopranos. I'm like, I have a. Get the full daddy. Yeah, right? Two. Oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, okay. Sorry. Three more to go. Woo! <laughs> Where is the driest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already know it's Where is the driest cave on earth? <laughs> <laughs>
remember, of the world's maple syrup is made in this and it's Fuck! <laughs> It's her. She, oh, she's she's like, no, you beat me. No, I didn't. He's going to get a problem. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Can you repeat the There's question? There's no 11 points. You just, I can't say the whole question. I can only say what I said. What are you, in jail? 77% of the world's maple syrup is made in this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Fuck. Anyone else want to smack? I'll pick two for the win. What's... What is Vancouver? Vancouver is wrong. The answer was Quebec. Light them up and you're the winner of a new Chromecast. <laughs> new Hampshire is also makes a lot of maple syrup in Canada. Yes, they but that do. was not the correct one. Yes, they but guess do. what? <laughs> Chris Rivoli may not know his Canada from his Doesn't know his Canada from his Schmanada, but he's gonna be giving you four minutes of comedy when we come back from this commercial break. Comedy works, how are we doing? Good. Are you, cool? hey, are you enjoying the show? Yeah. Well, we got more of it, and it's me only for four minutes. How are we doing? Is anybody drinking? Yeah. One guy? <laughs> Straight up, no one's drinking. This might be the first comedy show I've ever done where no one's drinking, which is fine, which is fine. But I'm also not drinking, so I can't even talk. Um, I actually think I'm trying to stop drinking, to be honest, because every time I drink with my friends, we end up playing that game Never Have I Ever. And I don't even know why that game is called Never Have I Ever. Like, that game should just be called Have You Done Anal. <laughs> that game should take 30 seconds to play. Tops. <laughs> And that game never ends well. Like, I've never played that game and looked at everyone and was like, no, I'm actually really happy we had this conversation. Let's play again next week. If you've never played it, it seems like it would be a clean game, right? Like that you can play with your family. Like, never have I ever. It sounds clean, but then you play it and it's like a dirty, disgusting game. Never have I ever. It sounds like you would play and you'd be like, never have I ever dated a Pisces, right? But it's not. You just play and everyone's like, who's done cocaine? Who's sucked a dick? And then you all just point at each other. Have you ever seen the fucking Spider-Man meme? <laughs> you just do this until an Uber shows up, you know? And I, I know how to do impressions of memes because uh, remember 2020, I stayed inside for a year. So I do, I also, I also do memes now. It's what you do when you you stay inside for 365 days. You do things as well. That was weird, huh? Yeah. yeah, pandemic was weird. I didn't think the world was gonna change, and then this is when I knew the world was gonna change. I went to, uh, I was walking through Harris Teeter. I'm not trying to brag or anything, that's just where I go. <laughs> I was just walking through Harris Teeter, and there was a guy in Harris Teeter, and he was butt naked. I know, that's what I said. But here's the thing, have you ever seen a crazy person and they're not really bothering you, so you just kind of make like a mental note, you know, and you're like, okay, whatever, and you walk to free samples? That's what I did, right? I didn't think anything of it. But then he started masturbating. Oh, shit. I know, that's what, so I got the manager, you know, I called him, and the manager <laughs> went up to this naked man in Harris Teeter, and he was like, sir, okay. Sir, sir, can you please just wear a mask? <laughs> and that was when I knew. I was like, this is going to be a weird year. I was just eating free samples watching this entire situation. That was weird. I don't know. I had to refill uh, my prescription. Is anybody on meds? <laughs> My type of crowd. I'm on meds. I had to re you have to when you get medication, you have to refill your medication, you know, because they can't just give you like a giant jug of it, like you're on the Queen's Gambit, you know. <laughs> that would be a disaster. If you haven't seen the Queen's Gambit, it's about this bitch that's really good at chess and pills. It's a, it's a sick show. I love it. But yeah, you can't do that. You can't like you can't buy a jug of pills. That's why you have to refill it. So I went to refill it, and my doctor was like, "Hey, weird situation. Your doctor's out of town, and his backup is also like something happened. So like we can't refill 
your medicine uh, today. Let's come back in a few days. And I was like, listen, if you're not going to refill this, I'm just going to buy it from a guy wearing a beanie. <laughs> and you know what I learned? This is a fun fact that I learned in life. If you go to your doctor and you just have a mental breakdown, they will work with you. That's what I learned. They were like, we don't have your medicine. And I was like, I'll buy it illegally and snort it. And then they were like, you can come in tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then I got my med. It was so easy. So, all right. Uh, we're going to go back to do another shit. Thank you. We are back for the Staircase Showdown. Chris Revely, you should do medicine commercial. Yeah, yeah. Erica Castro, you have winner of three prizes. You're gonna to get to go last. So Erica's gonna go off the stage right now, but she will be coming back, she'll be going last. Before we figure out who goes first, we're just gonna let you know that this is the Staircase Showdown. You wanna get it 100 or close to 100 without getting over, going over. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, any guesses? 100. No, it's actually 17 this time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still 100, okay? Chris Ridley has done this, played this before. Did you win it? Nope. Yep, yep. I thought you won. Didn't you win like a dart set or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. I won the darts and the, I won the what darts the and the straws. <laughs> Anyways, but today, What's the prize? what the prize is, but we have a, a, a golden beauty coming out. Come on out, beautiful person. Oh, it's Lou Grant. Yay! What are the prizes? I don't know where the book is. Baki balls. You got balls. You got balls for everybody. And, uh, I have enough of those. Got this goddamn short ass chair that only a little baby can sit in. So if you got kids, this shit'll work for you. Can't think I'm five. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And my name is Banner Black. <laughs> yeah, he undersold them a little bit. That's a that's a prime a Gucci chair. That's a Gucci chair. Yeah, yeah, and that's a that, that's a bocce. This is straight from Italy. Let's give it up for Lou Grant! Hey. Oh, okay. So now you know what you're playing for. You guys, the tiebreaker, this is a game you probably never heard of before, okay? The winner will get to go second because you want to know the people's scores. You guys, you've never heard this game probably before. It's called, um... Connect Four. Rock, paper, scissors it is! You guys heard it? You guys heard it before? Some call him Rivoli. Yeah. yeah. 